Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an Asus Chromebox, which is a tiny desktop computer, sells for about $179, and runs Google's Chrome OS, but it's also capable of running Ubuntu or other operating systems. You can see that it's got a SD card, four USB 3.0 ports, HDMI display port, Ethernet, and uh, under the hood, uh, it also has um, two gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of storage, and an Intel Celeron 2955U Haswell processor. Uh, if the limited storage and RAM aren't necessarily enough for you though, it's relatively easy to open up the case and uh, upgrade them, and doing so doesn't necessarily void your warranty. Uh, Asus says the warranty is okay as long as you don't damage the device while opening it up. So basically, exterior damage or anything that's their fault, clearly uh, they're going to cover, but if you open it up and start making modifications to the board, you might be on your own. Um, I've already done most of the work to open this guy up, and I'm just going to show you. You can sort of peel away these little rubber feet that are going to be on the case. So there should be four in the corners, and I always have a hard time getting these guys off. Let's go ahead and use the screwdriver to do it. There we go. And once you peel those open, you'll see that there are screws in there. So there should be four of them. I've already taken most of them off. Let's just get that last one. And that's what they look like and doesn't necessarily open straight up, but you can sort of pry it open. It is careful because it's not necessarily the strongest plastic, so you might scratch it. And that's what it looks like on the inside. So you can see that this particular model already has four gigs of RAM installed. Uh, most will ship standard with two gigs, and that's the little solid state drive there. And that's your wireless card. So uh, in terms of upgrades, it should be pretty easy to upgrade it to eight gigabytes of memory or so. Uh, or if you have a model that comes with two gigs, you can go ahead and upgrade it to uh, four gigs just by inserting a second stick. Uh, if you want to get at the little solid state uh, drive there. You're going to need to remove a couple of screws though. So there's a screw here holding wireless card in and another one holding the SSD. So uh, in terms of RAM, you can just pop open these little levers, pull it out, and upgrading should be simple as reversing that process. Put in a stick. And as for these guys over here, let's go ahead and take out the wireless connector. And you can see the tiny little screw there, which is going to fall over. To set that to the side, this should have your, uh, your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth. And one more screw to pop out the SSD. And just pull gently and what we're looking at here is a SanDisk 16 gigabyte solid state drive. So if you wanted 32 gigs, 64 gigs, whatever, you would just need to find uh, an M2 uh, SATA SSD that would fit into that slot. Now for Chrome OS, 16 gigs really is pretty much enough and this is a reasonably fast drive that works with the Celeron processor. To, uh, to offer decent performance. But if you wanted more storage because you're going to install Ubuntu or uh, plan to install a lot of uh, data or uh, Chrome packaged apps or keep your music or movie collection, a larger SSD might come in handy. Um, again, for starting price of $179, what really kind of makes this whole thing special just line that up there, is that out of the box you get a computer that's perfectly usable to supply a keyboard, mouse, and display and run Chrome OS software or install Ubuntu. But if you wanted to spend a little bit more money, it's a relatively easy process. And you can see how quickly and easily you can remove and restore the components here. So let's just slide this back in. Probably a little easier with a slightly smaller screwdriver. There we go, and that's back in place. 
Now we can put the lid back on. Put the screws back on, put the rubber feet back on, and nobody will ever know that it was opened. So this is Brad Linder with Little Pewting and a quick peek inside the case of the Asus Chromebox.